Hello and welcome back to Mondo Musings. I'm your presenter, Nicarda McLean. Now, even with a likely buy at her disposal due to her status as defending World 100 Meter Champion, it appears that Shelly Ann Fraser Price will, in fact, line up in both the 100 and 200 meters at the Jamaican National Championships later this month. Consequently, the effervescent sprint legend retains her place on this early Jamaican National Senior Athletics Championships women's 100 meters form chart, along with these nine other ladies. At number 10 is the experienced Natasha Morrison, who was a World Champs finalist in the Bills all the way back in 2015. With just two heavily wind-affected hundreds under her belt prior to the release of her first form chart, the veteran MVP sprinter made good use of reasonable conditions in Rabat to register an 11.22 post-May 7th best. Better known as a 100-meter hurdler, the toolsy Shamira Williams teased her tantalizing talent by giving some of the ladies in the second tier of Jamaican short sprinting all they could handle on Saturday. The 26-year-old, who is a training partner of Shelly Ann Fraser Price, was duly rewarded with an 11.13 PB that could well lead her to throw her hat in the hot 100-meter ring at Nationals. In the meantime, Shakuria Wallace, who was 10th last time out, moves up two spots on this edition, thanks to a post-May 7th best mark of 11.08 seconds, which also happens to be a PB at Jubilee Series 3 on Saturday. Just over a month removed from her first career sub-11 run, Natalia White, who was 4th at the time of her last update, slips a few to 7th. The St. Jago alum's best wind legal time in the intervening period stands at 11.13 seconds, which he registered in the final at the Puerto Rico Athletics Classic on May 12th. Meanwhile, moving on up like the Jeffersons at number 6 is former junior standout Kevona Davis, who joined the women's sub-11 club courtesy of a slippery 1095 heat at May's Big 12 Conference Championships. As detailed in a May 30th article published in The Gleaner, her coach at the University of Texas, Edric Floriel, attributes the former Edwin Allen starlet's big breakthrough to a much more confident mindset, and he suggests that his talented charge's best is yet to come. Fifth this time around, after featuring one place lower on her first form chart, is the University of Oregon's ace female sprinter Kemba Nelson, who registered an 11.05 season's best in near still conditions to claim the Pac-12 title on May 15th. Climbing a rung on the ladder to number four is Olympic sprint relay gold medalist Brianna Williams, who swiftly muted any murmurs of mid-season malaise by blitzing a quality field to post a PB equaling 10.97 in the final of the Women's 100 at Saturday's third meet in the Jubilee Series. At number three is the increasingly consistent Olympic bronze medalist, Sharika Jackson. The versatile 27-year-old validated her standing as the third best Jamaican 100-meter woman at the moment by posting a season's best 1092 to finish behind or number two at the Prefontaine Classic. Currently in that number two slot, but narrowing the gap to the top with each passing race is Olympic champ Elaine Thompson Hero, who signaled that she's rounding into ominous form with a 10.79 season's best at the recent pre-classic. And still ensconced at number one is reigning world champion Shelly Ann Fraser Price, who hasn't lined up in 100 since her scorching 10.67 world leading effort in Kenya on May 7th. However, the four-time world 100 meter champion underlined her suitability for this seat by easily dispatching a world-class half-lap field in Eugene on May 28th. So that's it for yet another installment of Mondo Musings. If you have any thoughts on the chart, please, as always, feel free to drop a line in the comment section and let's have a chat. Next up is the men's equivalent. Thanks, as always, for sparing the time to check out the content. Until next time, peeps. Godspeed.